Hi, welcome to Marine Guru Kul video series. Now we'll run through this uh, AFF Refresher Exit Exam uh, Practice Set 2. I'm sure you would have gone through Set 1. So let's quickly run through Set 2 now. Which of the following gives the information on the actions to be taken in the event of an accident involving certain dangerous goods? Is it IMDG, SOLAS, or Emergency Schedule, EMS? The information on action to be taken in the case of accidents is contained in the Emergency Schedule. A high velocity fog stream shall be used in fighting firefighting situations to drive heat and smoke ahead of the firefighter in a passageway. This technique shall only be used when at least two fog streams can be used using a one and a half inch hose. The fire is totally contained in the ship structure. There is an outlet for smoke and heat. So to use a fog, fog stream to drive out uh, smoke, there should be an outlet for smoke and heat to exit out. So answer is D. What is the minimum number of people required to safely handle a two and a half inch fire hose? Three, one, two, four. The answer is three. The hoods over galley ranges present major fire hazard because they concentrate the heat of cooking and may raise surrounding flammable material to ignition point. They inhibit the effective operation of firefighting systems in combating deep fat fryer and fire and range fires. In order to effectively draw off cooking heat, they present a head injury hazard to the person of average or more height. Grease collects in the duct and filter catches fire, which is difficult to extinguish. So the hazard presented by the galley range is because of reason D, that is the grease that gets collected in the duct and the filter. How to prevent static electricity while transferring cargo? Insulate the joints, use bonding or grounding wire, or putting on of the impressed current system that is the cathodic protection instrument. Obviously the answer is by using bonding or the grounding wire. Which type of fire blanket is not used nowadays? Wool, the ones treated with flame retardant dust or the ones made of asbestos. What is not used nowadays are the asbestos blankets. The ships carrying more than 36 passengers should carry out extinguisher operation, fire patrol system, fire drill, or fire watch. It is mandatory for passenger ships carrying more than 36 passengers to have fire patrol system in place. The fixed firefighting system used in container ship in the cargo area or the hold area will be foam water, DCP or CO2? The answer here is the fixed carbon dioxide system. High expansion foam ratio is 1 is to 100, 1 is to 20, 1000 is to 1 or 1 is to 1000. The answer is 1 is to 1000 that is answer D. Automatic fire dampers in ventilation systems are operated by use of which technique? CO2 system pressure switch, remote operated valve, heat or smoke detector, or a fusible link. So the fire dampers, automatic fire dampers are operated through use of fusible link that is answer D. To effectively and safely combat a passageway fire, the fire should be attacked from above if possible. Two hose teams should attack fire from opposite sides. The fire should be attacked only from one side. 
water should not be used if passageway is above the metacentric height. The answer is the fire should be attacked only from one side, that is answer C. Which gas acts as catalyst in mechanical form extinguishers? Nitrogen, halon gases, CO2. The answer is CO2. Which extinguisher is more effective on fires, halon or CO2? The answer, if you only talk about the effectiveness part of it, then the answer is halon. However, please note, halon, which is lighter and less toxic and also more efficient, is not allowed anymore these days. So if we talk of effectiveness, yes, halon, but halon, the use of halon is nowadays discontinued. Fire prevention program is made by a company, flag state, safety committee, or the classification society. The answer is safety committee. It is made as per the company's manual by the safety committee. A fixed carbon dioxide extinguishing system for machinery space designed with a stop valve installed in the line leading to the protected space is actuated with one control, two independent controls, three independent controls, or four independent controls. The requirement is to have two independent controls, so answer is B. What emergency equipment is not usually found in the crew mess as per the vessel's fire control plan? Primary means of escape, fire alarm, heat sensor, or a smoke detector. Of these, what is not usually found in the crew mess area is the heat sensor. So the answer is C. The solid arrow in the crew mess represents path of forced ventilation, search and rescue boats, nearest door, or the primary means of escape, the answer is primary means of escape is represented by the solid arrow. If your vessel is required to have a fire X on board, where it should be located? In or adjacent to the primary operating station? Just outside engine room access? In the galley near hot plate? Answer is it should be located in or adjacent to the primary operating station. So FireX has to be mounted or placed close to the primary operating station. The connection facilities for the international shore connection must be located to provide access to each side of the ship as close as possible to the hose on the main deck on each level of the accommodation space. The requirement is that it should provide access to each side of the vessel that is answer A. Remote controls for quick closing shut off valves are required in how many locations? 1, 2, 3 or 4? Answer is 2, that is B. You need remote controls in two locations to close the quick closing shut off valves. On a vessel's fire control plan, all parts of fixed fire suppression systems are listed except spaces protected by the system, extinguishing agent cylinder location, remote cylinder releases, instructions for activation of the system. A, B, C are all part of the fire control plan. What is not contained there is D, that is instructions for activation of the system. The emergency schedule EMS of the cargo carried should be kept with which document? Passage plan, IMDG code, BC code, or the stowage plan of the vessel? The answer is it should be kept with the stowage plan of the ship. What must be located on the discharge side of the pump in a fire main system? Is it the pressure gauge or the strainer? Production valve, 
or the international shore connection obviously on discharge side of the pump we have the pressure gauge the answer is a the fire protection provided for the propulsion motor and the generator of a diesel electric driven vessel is usually a so in other words what is the fixed fire fighting system protection provided in the machinery spaces fixed foam extinguisher fixed co2 system steam smothering system or carbon tetrachloride extinguisher the answer is fixed co2 system in cargo ships the diameter of the fire main need to be sufficient for discharge of certain volume of water with two pumps simultaneously delivering so we need to find out we need to answer what is the volume that is to be filled in the blank 145 cubic meters per hour 140 cubic meters per hour 14 cubic meters per hour or 135 cubic meters per hour answer is b 140 cubic meters per hour a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher is required to be recharged if the weight loss exceeds what percentage of the weight 1% 5% 7% or 10% answer is d 10% so if there is a loss of 10% or more it needs to be recharged which of the following is not required to be included in the fire control plan smoke detectors communication plan secondary means of escape or the watertight doors location answer is b that is communication plan a large fire has developed in the heavy fuel oil centrifuge room to combat fire you should close all openings and ventilation dampers to the involved space advance the hose team inside without any additional action set up a hose team cool the door to enter the uh, enter to extinguish answer is close all the openings and ventilation dampers to the involved space that is the first action and then the situation can be assessed and further actions can be evaluated before releasing co2 into machinery space the alarm shall sound for at least 20 seconds 30 seconds 40 seconds or 60 seconds the minimum period it should sound for is 20 seconds answer is a you notice some smoke coming out from the open laundry room doorway after activating alarm which of the following you will do the first what is your action post activating alarm so activation of the alarm is the first action the next thereafter attempt to determine what is burning locate nearest breathing apparatus break out a fire hose wait for the fire team to arrive and assist as instructed so after activating the alarm the next action shall be attempt to determine what is burning because in any case the fire team shall automatically reach because the alarm has been sounded thank you very much for watching marine gurukul video series we hope these videos will add some value to your effort in passing the exit exam if you have any feedback or you want to reach us for further support please do write to us on marinegurukul at gmail.com please do subscribe to our channel for future updates thank you very much for watching marine gurukul video series thank you